this is an Olivetti Divasuma 14. They were made from 1948 to 1958. I'm not sure when this particular example is from, but it is likely a later model based on the features it has and its serial number, 991271. The Divasuma 14 is a bit of a curious machine from the electromechanical era of calculators as it is a hybrid between an adding machine and a calculator and carries many of the important functions between the two types. One important function of an adding machine is to keep track of negative values. You can see on the Frieden STW10, which is a fairly advanced calculator from around the same time, there is no automatic handling of negative numbers. You have to perform an extra operation to get the negative value displayed. The Olivetti, on the other hand, automatically displays negative totals in a usable format and stamps them with CR to denote that it's a credit. The Olivetti also handles multiplication. Before demonstrating how it works, we should quickly look at how multiplication is done by hand. We work through the operation, one digit at a time, starting with the lowest order number. Once all that is complete, we then add up the individual results to get the final answer. To perform a multiplication on the Divisuma, we place one number into the setting register using the keypad in the middle. The other number is entered sequentially using the red buttons on the right, starting with the lowest order number. We want to multiply 456, so we'll press 6, 5, 4. This may seem backwards when you're used to modern calculators, but as we just saw, it is the same way you would perform the calculation by hand, and the mechanism performs the calculation in the same way. The printout shows the equation that was entered, 6 times 123, 5 times 1,230, and 4 times 12,300. Added together, the answer is 56,088. The multiplier numbers are rotated 90 degrees as well to differentiate them from division. When doing the same calculation on the Frieden, we enter the numbers in the way we're used to pressing 456 for 456. However, we can see when the mechanism is activated. The calculator works from the lowest order first, just as with the Olivetti. Lastly, we'll look at the automatic division. We start by entering the dividend and adding it into the accumulator. To get better accuracy, we'll add as many zeros as we can. Then we queue up the divisor, adding zeros until the number fills all 10 places in the register as well. To start the division, we throw the lever at the top of the keypad. The mechanism is repeatedly subtracting the divisor from the dividend. Each time it does so, you can see the printhead on the left rise up one level. When the number goes negative due to the subtraction, it adds it back once and moves it down one place in the register and starts again. This is also when a hammer strikes the leftmost printhead before it collapses to zero and starts again. When the machine is all done, you can see that the quotient is displayed in the column on the left, starting at the top and reading down. As well, the red number on the last line of the printout is the remainder. 
You can derive where the decimal place is by starting with where it was in the dividend, then drawing a line down to where it crosses the decimal place in the divisor, then across. And that is where the decimal place is in the quotient. The Olivetti Div Assuma 14 is a very interesting machine with many details that could be explored. This is just a brief look at some features that make it stand out from other calculators of its day and why it is so notable in the history of calculator development as the first four function adding machine. Thank you for watching.